<laughs> so I can be awake for the questions. Hi guys, what do you do when the old story of your self-concept that you aren't good enough for your SP? <sighs> guys, you'd have to work on that. I've got an, a self-concept affirmation about I am more than good enough coming up. Listen to that on loop every night as you're going to sleep. Okay, work on I am good enough, I am perfection, I need do nothing for love. I am enough just as I am, I'm perfect just as I am. Work on those ones, darling, and just keep going hard at it. If you don't feel good enough for your specific person, you've got to just concentrate on you. Don't concentrate on any them in any way. Concentrate on building yourself up and putting yourself on the pedestal, darling. Do those affirmations over and over and over and over again until you feel good about you. It's not about them at all, okay? Um, any questions, guys? Am I the only male in here? Oh, no. There's always men in here, darling. There's actually always more men on the lives than there are on my video views. It's very strange. My live video um, statistics, I can see there's a lot more men, but then it says there's only like 13%, 14% men in my video views, which can't be right because I notice so many men in here. I think the analytics on TikTok's wrong. I've got coaching clients that are guys, guys. So there's plenty of guys in here, don't worry. <laughs> Um, any more questions? It's laggy. Oh, yeah, it always gets laggy when I start. Half the time you guys don't, um, congrats. What are you congratulating me on? <laughs> Cat. <laughs> uh, bestie, love you. You're an inspiration. Oh, thank you, darling. I can't even say your bloody username because it's just a whole lot of letters. <laughs> uh, Cat, could you come over here and do my garden from rental inspection? Thanks. What time is it in Perth? It's 7 a.m. Well, actually, it's later than that. And I've got a call in 40 minutes. So this is going to be the shortest live ever. It's going to be about 20 minute live, guys. Get your questions in quick. My SP came back today. Couldn't have done it without you. What? RD7712, what did you do? <gasps> Tell us. Yay. Oh, I love these stories. Tell us what happened. What do you do? Oh, I saw that one. Um, hang on, I'm seeing a whole lot of people joining, but no questions. RD77, tell us how you got your SP back. What did you do? What did you do? Can feeling heartbreak and crying stop SP manifestation? Guys, if you're feeling heartbroken, it means you're not living in the end. Okay, are you up here in your mind together? Forget the 3D. I want you guys to live up here. If you're getting heartbroken, it means you're looking at the 3D world, the world out here, and thinking that's your actual world. This is your actual world. I want you to swap what you think the world is from this to up here. I know it sounds really crazy, but that's how manifestation works. Up here is what causes out here. So I want you to live up here all the time. If you're feeling heartbroken, cry it out, then jump back up here, darling, in the end in your mind that you're together and you'll feel better. Trust me. Why do I overthink everything? Well, stop saying you do, Alicia Manning. If you're telling your subconscious you overthink, we, you're not overthinking. You're just noticing your thoughts more than other people. Everyone has the same amount of thoughts. You're just noticing them more. So just jump in with your affirmations every time you have an overthinking thought. Don't make yourself more fucked up than anyone else with the thinking. We're all doing the same amount of thinking. <laughs> you're just noticing it, darling. Stop saying it as a thing. Okay? Because then you, you'll panic and think, oh my God, I'm thinking too many thoughts. No, you're not. Just jump in with your affirmations. Your vids and lives really helping with my manifestation. Yay! Things are starting to happen. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome, Dean Shannon. Dean is Dean Shannon. Oh, you're Dean with an E. Oh, I don't know many Deans with an E. I know lots of Deans without an E. You're welcome, Dean. Um, I don't know if this has anything to do with manifesting, but I can hear my SP talking to me. Yes, it is. Guys, have inner conversations. They're not separate from you. We're all one. Hear them. Hear them talking to you. Baby, I miss you so much when you're gone. I want you and only you. Think, hear that, guys. It's great. It's called Inner Conversations. Go and watch Create Your Future. It's a lovely coach on there called Katie, and she talks a lot about how to have those inner conversations with your specific person. She's a beautiful coach. Go and watch her videos. Is it bad? Oh, hang on. Is it bad... Oh, God, I scrolled up. We're in Perth, Perth my, I'm in Dianella. Is it bad if we don't script, but we still try our best to reaffirm in our minds? I want you to affirm in your minds, guys. Scripting isn't necessary. Scripting's like an added bonus. 
There's so many people on here telling you to write shit down. Writing affirmations down doesn't do anything, so don't be doing that. Scripting a story, scripting a new story, scripting the old story, throwing it away, scripting what you want from life, great. Writing affirmations down, no, I want you to do it in your mind, darling. Things are happening between my ex and myself. Thank you so much. Yay, Misty! Hooray! Oh, so many success stories on this live this morning. We've only been on for five minutes. Yes. What's happening? Tell us. What did you do? You have a beautiful soul. Oh, thank you, darling. When you meet your SP, you're manifesting. How should you act? Act normal. Okay? Don't tell them you're manifesting them. Don't bring up the old story. Act like the old story, the breakup, whatever it is. Never fucking happened. Be your wonderful, gracious, gorgeous, lovely self. Be happy to see them. And imagine they're happy to see you too. Is it bad to listen to music that goes against your manifestations or is that far-fetched? I wouldn't be listening to breakup songs. I wouldn't be sitting in the car listening to the radio because seriously, every, like, only about every tenth song is a happy song. Everything's depressing. When I was going through a breakup, my psych said to me, stop listening to the radio in the car because I was actually hearing the lyrics and it was really affecting me. So don't do that. It does affect your mood and your mood then affects you. Don't do that, guys, if it's going to mess with your mental health. I love Katie from Create Your Future and Denise. Yes, it's great coaching on there, guys, if you haven't watched that channel. Oh, my God, super close. We'd love to come see you for a reading. What? You're in um, Perth near Dianella? I don't know any suburbs because I haven't lived here for 20 years. I don't, I, I don't even barely know where I live, to be honest. <laughs> but, darling, I don't do readings. I do, like, coaching. We could do coaching over coffee, although I have done some Perth calls already just online. But feel free if you want that. You can go meet somewhere. What do you think about sats by Neville? State akin to sleep, guys, is what sats is. The state akin to sleep, like sleep. It's getting in a drowsy state to then visualize, a drowsy state to then affirm. He talks about it in terms of visualization. It's just switching your monkey mind off, guys. It's like a meditation, but you're just kind of getting drowsy. You do it naturally when you're waking up. You do it naturally when you're falling asleep. You're getting drowsy. You're kind of in sats when you're idle, when you're washing dishes, your mind's kind of idle drifting off when you're driving sometimes and you just know where you're going and you're not even concentrating, that's kind of sats as well, scarily enough, when you're driving. That's the best time to affirm when you're not, your monkey mind's kind of switched off a little bit. Um, hang on, guys, I'm scrolling down. My affirmations have been working. So happy. Yes, Millie Sparks. Why would my SP suddenly stop conforming when things were going so perfectly because you've still got old thoughts about him, darling, or her that are stuck in your mind, Okay. Stop the old thinking. Get rid of the old story. Write it out. Burn it. Write the new version of them and only see them as the new version. Any behaviors that are coming up associated with the old version, ignore it. Don't react. You created that. Don't get angry at it. Okay? They will conform, but you've got to be patient. Don't react. Don't start an argument. It's just catching up. The 3D is lagging. It's like a lagging TikTok Live that's not connecting properly. He's not connecting just yet. And then, bing, he connects. You've got to wait. Don't react. Your affirmation has been working. So happy. I'm so happy for you, Millie. Yay. How do I stop manifesting? I feel too powerful. You can't stop manifesting, guys. It's great when you feel powerful. You feel so in control of your life. I had depression for many years, guys. I felt so out of control. Manifesting when you realize it's just your dominant thinking. You feel so powerful. It's fucking great. Embrace the feeling, darling. Great. Thanks, legend. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> What's happened, Jojo Sam? What was your question? What does it mean when I don't feel as much need for my SP? It's wonderful, guys. If you're getting rid of that neediness, that's wonderful. It means you're building yourself up, your self-concept on point. Hooray. You don't need them. Just be content with, oh, we're happily together. That's the feeling you want, not, where is he? Oh, I miss him so much. If you're feeling that still, guys, you're not living in the end enough with them in your mind. Okay. Every time you go live, I get a phone call in the middle. I need to affirm to be left alone while you're on. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Put it on silent. I have to drink this coffee because I'm. I, this is my first coffee of the day and I normally have three before I talk to you people. My SP was, oh, sorry. My SP was conforming. It was perfect and last night he told me he has no feelings for me. Okay. So somewhere there, darling, you are thinking he doesn't have feelings and that he's only reflecting your thoughts. What have you been thinking? He doesn't want me as much as I want him. He doesn't like me as much as I like him. I love him. He doesn't love me. He isn't showing me he loves me. Maybe there's other girls. Maybe he doesn't want to commit to me. Da, 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 da. And then he says it. They literally only say to you what you've already been thinking at some point, a year ago, last week, two minutes ago. Don't take to heart what they say. 
They know not what they do. Don't be hurt by it, except that you somewhere thought something shitty about yourself that you weren't good enough for him or he didn't like you or he didn't love you and therefore he said that horrible thing. Don't be hurt. Imagine you never heard that. Live in the end in your mind that you're together and things will turn around, darling. Don't be affected by it. Trust me, it's just what you thought. Did you think any of those things that I just said or anything akin to he doesn't have feelings for me? How do you live in the end? Is it just in the mind and go on with your daily life? Yes, guys, it's not this acting as if bullshit. Someone actually asked this in the Facebook group. And guys, please do join the Facebook group. There's about 450 very helpful people in there at the moment, all giving each other help when I can't jump in because I'm so busy. Okay, wonderful, supportive community of TikTokers that have come from here who all understand this very, very well. I'm saving all the lives in there. You can watch all of these back. There'll be over 40 by the end of today when I finally put them in, all in, because there's about 30 of them in there. Okay, and someone did ask, do I um, do things in the 3D as well as in my mind? No, guys, it's just in your mind living in the end. You don't go around wearing a wedding ring. You imagine you have, with your imaginary, on your hand, imaginarily, there's a ring. There's not an actual ring. In your mind, you're just living up here blissfully, happily married. In your mind only. You're using your imagination, guys, like you would as a child. Okay? Um, stay focused on not doing it. Not doing what? I'm missing questions. Uh, another loud so-called expert. Well, fuck off, Jacko886. I'm not an expert. I'm just a person talking. Why are you so negative? I just introduced my friend to Neville and to you. Hooray! Neville for life. Love Neville. Do children manifest being ill-treated? No, guys. So from the age of zero to seven, whatever happens to you is nothing to do with you. Okay? Your subconscious thinking is formed by seven. If you get abused as a child, you're ill-treated as a child, it's got nothing to do with you and everything to do with the subconscious thinking of the adults in your life. Never, ever, 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 ever think that a child brought that upon themselves. Their illness, their treatment, nothing. They don't. Um... They haven't formed enough subconscious thinking to create anything for themselves, honestly. If manifesting SP, should we avoid their social media like WhatsApp? Guys, if it's going to trigger you, don't look at it. Don't look at their WhatsApp. Don't look at their snaps. Don't look at this Facebook. You might see a third party and then you'll freak out and it could be just a friend or a cousin and then you'll spiral, okay? If you sent them a message and they're on WhatsApp and you see they're active but they haven't answered you, you'll spiral. Don't look if you're going to be triggered. You should really think about a Zoom seminar. I love my session with you. Oh, great, super mum. Oh, yeah, I am going to do Zoom, I think. I will set some up soon. I just want to do the courses first. So I want to do a Manifest Your Ex Back course to go with the series I'm going to put out soon. Then I'm going to do a self-concept course because I think that is just crazy important. And that's for life, not just for getting your SP back. That's for everything, for building yourself up to be the best version of you you can be. Then I might do getting rid of the old story course and then I'll do the Zooms. Okay, I just want to get some courses out so people have got some material because some people can't afford the coaching and they want something less expensive. I want to focus on that and then the Zooms will be less expensive as well. There'll be a lot more people in there sharing your dirty laundry. That's why it will be cheaper than the private calls, guys. But if you do want a private call, one-to-one, -one, just DM me. I've got three coming up in like 20 minutes. I've got to get off the <laughs> live. Um, hang on, guys. Oh, God, 64 messages. SP states all the things I'm manifesting but he's still with a third party. Don't worry, darling. Forget about the third party. If they're stating everything you're manifesting and you're affirming, know that, give it good meaning. Oh, they're conforming, they're conforming. Okay, act like the fucking third party doesn't exist. Don't give life to the bitch. Focus on you and him in your mind being together and forget about her and just know, oh, that's good meaning. He's conforming, hooray, this is working. It's very distracting when you're that beautiful. Oh, I've got a filter on, darling. It's seven in the morning here. <laughs> if this filter wasn't on, you'd see what I really look like. I look half asleep, look at my eyes, but thank you. I'll take the compliment. Why don't I just take the compliment? Thank you. <laughs> look, I'm half asleep. <laughs> but thank you very much. Um, I need help. I feel like my manifesting isn't working. Any tips? Or what are you doing, darling? Are you living in the end in your mind? Have you got rid of the old story? Or are you doing this bullshit, bullshit that LOA people tell you to do, which is feeling it and believing it? If you're doing any of that shit, that's why it no work. Because you don't need feeling and you don't need believing. You just need to think it and think it and think it and think it. Are you replacing your old shitty negative thinking with new positive affirmations, darling? Are you living in the end? Have you watched my videos? <laughs> if you don't understand what I'm saying, guys, go and watch my How to Manifest Properly series. It's got a black heading, probably halfway down the page or the bottom of the page. 
and it goes into great detail of how to manifest just using your mind, none of this LOA bullshit. What about having to see SP at exchanges of our child? How do I tell myself we aren't divorced? Okay, look, guys, sometimes the 3D will throw you because it's very real. You are divorced. You are dropping off children and swapping. So if you can't feel like it's not existing, it's not happening, just go, I accept the 3D. I accept what I'm saying. Okay, it is what it is, but I'm changing you. It is what it is, but this is going to change. Okay, just say, it is what it is. Okay, mm-hmm. It's old news. The 3D is catching up. That's your old thinking. Whatever formed the divorce, created the divorce, is now, you're now divorced. Don't worry. Look at it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm changing this. Be as lovely as you can with them. No arguments. No old story. Be your wonderful best version of you every time you see them. Live in the end in your mind that you are together. But when the 3D throws, you think, it is what it is right now. But in here, it's changing. Okay, darling, don't be thrown by it. I haven't seen my specific person that I'm manifesting. Oh, God. What? Um, oh, that, I've, uh, I've missed that one. Sorry, darling. If I stop manifesting in a few days, do I basically start all over again? Or do you start where you left off? Guys, just keep affirming, okay? If you have a day off, don't worry. Okay, you're always manifesting, darling. Can't stop manifesting. I love your content. Oh, thanks, Rushy Poo. And now we're not talking. What should I do? Oh, I missed the beginning. Guys, if you're not talking, don't worry about it. Something's happened where you've thought things that's caused them not to talk to you anymore. Terrible, shitty things about yourself. Bad things about them that they don't like you enough. Forget about it all. Work on yourself. Focus on you and they'll come back. When you focus on them, they focus on them. When you focus on you, they focus on you. I manifested my soulmate like a couple of months and then I started talking to this guy for four months. What's the question, darling? And now we're not talking. Is that the end of that? Just joined on the Facebook. Yes, guys, join the Facebook group. You can watch all these lives back. Loz, I manifested my ex without realizing it. I regret it so much. This boy this boy is obsessed with me. <laughs> oh, okay, so your ex has come back. When your self-concept's on point, guys, and you're really feeling better about yourself, all the exes come out that will work, trust me. Don't worry about it. It's meaning your self-concept's working. Can you overwork your manifestation, like when you affirm too much? Guys, if you feel like you're getting obsessive about it, it's all you're doing all goddamn day, that's not necessary. Okay, but you can't over manifest. You're manifesting everything in your life all day long. There's no such thing as over manifesting, but there is such a thing as being so obsessive about the affirming that you don't get on with your life. Don't do that. How do you focus on yourself? I really struggle with not obsessing over my manifestations. We'll carry you around, or you have to work on your fucking self concept, darling, to stop thinking that this is like the most important thing in your life and you aren't more important than your manifestations. How about you? How about you focus on you and take the focus off them? or whatever it is you're trying to manifest, because you're thinking that's going to make you happy. How about you focus on you, and you won't have such neediness for the manifestation to, to come about, because you'll feel good in yourself. When you work on your self-concept, guys, I can't tell you so many success stories in my group from my coaching and from the lives where people have really gone hard on their self-concept for two or three weeks, and it's amazing how they feel afterwards. I've had people who are crying on their client call, like because and now they're feeling amazing about life, and it's only two or three weeks later. Really go hard on it, darling. Are you coming back later on live? Yes, I will, guys, um, later today. I've just got so much on. I've got to clean my house. I've got a rental inspection. I don't think I'll be doing a live till um, UK time morning. Sorry, guys. Um, but do book a call with me, guys, if you do want to call. I'm just running out of time at the moment, and I've got to make more videos as well because I'm running out of content. So when they start coming in, lol, all of them, is that like your manifestation is working? Yes, guys, when everyone comes out the woodwork and guys at work are cracking onto you, it means your self-concept becoming the queen that you are and they're all noticing your self-concept important it's the most important thing guys i'm coming out today with some self-concept affirmations looping on tiktok just listen to them as you go to bed i'm more than enough i am the prize all those ones okay to make yourself feel really great i've got to go in a minute guys how do you focus on yourself oh, i saw that one i've manifested my sp back so many times but i always lose him again where is it he ghosts me out of nowhere because you're afraid he will. If someone ghosts you guys, it's because you think they like you like them more than they like you. You're afraid they're going to leave. You're worried about what happened before. Are they going to ghost me? Is, is this going to happen again? And then it happens. Guys, your fears reflect onto them and they have no choice but to reflect it back to you. 
your thoughts manifest. Stop having fearful thoughts. Stop having thoughts that they don't love you. That's why it's happening. When manifesting an ex, I feel like I'm only affirming for a specific person and not self-concept. How can I combine them? Well, darling, why are you focusing on the self-specific person affirmations? That's not what I tell people to do. I want you to do 80% of your day is self-concept. If you're not doing that, that's why it's not working. 80%, only 20% should be self-specific um, person. You've got to change you to change them. Change you to change them. Go and watch number 25, self-concept to get your ex back in my Facebook group. I've got a Coke t-shirt on. Library Play 25, I explain this in great detail, that you're changing you, not them. If you're focusing on them, you're going to fuck it up. Guys, I've got to go in a minute because I've got client calls. I've been trying a lot of personal manifestations for someone else but was asked out by others. I've been saying a lot of personal manifestations. So if other people are asking you out not the person you want, darling, it's because you have resistance against the person you want. You have an old story you're attaching to that person, fears, etc. Get rid of that. Throw away the old story. Write it out. Write a new one. You have no resistance to the people who are coming in. No, a short spiral or bad day doesn't slow down your manifestations, guys. Just say, doesn't matter what I do, doesn't matter what I feel, I can't fuck this up. I will still get what I want. Okay? It doesn't do anything, guys. Feelings don't do anything. Don't worry about the feelings you're feeling. That's some LOA bullshit. But if you're thinking all day, this isn't going to work, I'm going to fuck this up, oh, I fucked it up, then well, yeah. But don't be thinking that all day. Can you talk about living in the end and the state of the wish fulfilled? Guys, the state of the wish fulfilled is be the man or woman you want to be already in your mind, as if the wish has already been fulfilled. You already are living in the new house. You already are a millionaire. You are already with your person in your mind. You imagine a scene in the future after your wedding, after you won the lottery, after you have bought the house. That's living in the end, an end scene. Not the wedding, not putting the lotto ticket in, after. Okay, that's what living in the end is. Then you try and stay up here as long as possible and as much as possible and ignore the 3D. Oh, yes, I accept 3D now, but oh, I'm living up here. It's so much fun. Okay. Um, just a question. What do you do when the self-concept is someone else's self-concept that is not true? What? What do you do when the self-concept of someone else's self-concept that's not true? That is not, I don't know what that means, darling. Only worry about your self-concept. Don't worry about other people's. I don't understand that question. You're concentrating on you, not other people's self-concepts. Thanks as always, Loz. Are you welcome? How do I manifest being best friends with someone when we barely talk and they're not close? Just imagine they're your BFF. I love being BFFs with whatever their name is. They love me so much, I'm their bestest friend. Just affirm that, darling, and see yourself as a friend of theirs. You're be the best friend. What time will you be live next time, UK time? So I'll do a longer live. Um, I'll tell you, what have I got coaching? Oh, so I might... Yeah, I'll probably be live later, probably in the morning UK time, probably about 10 a.m. or something. Okay, and um, I'll try and stay on a bit longer today. Okay, but I've got so much to do today. Sorry, guys. Just a question. Uh, okay, I don't understand that question, sweet pea. Write it again. Um, any more questions, guys? Should you say more self-concept affirmations than ones about SP? Yes, 80% about you guys. Change you to change them. You're not changing them. It's a huge fallacy that you're changing the other person you're not. You're changing what you think they think about you. So you've got to change you to a person who's lovable to start saying, they love me so much. Well, you can't be saying, he loves me so much and not feel lovable, not believe you're a lovable person, think you're a piece of shit, but they love you. It doesn't make any sense. It like cancels out the affirmation you're doing for them. He loves me so much. No one ever's loved me. No one's ever loved me. My relationships never work out. Cancels out the shit you're saying about them, guys. Okay. How do I manifest being best friends with someone? Oh, I saw that one. How do you react if your SP brings something up from the old story? Don't react, darling. Just go, oh, okay. Anyway, change the subject. Change the subject. Guys, just say, okay. Don't react. Don't engage in the conversation. Okay. Try and change the subject as much as possible. Put the subject back on them. Talk about something else. Don't engage in, in conversations about the old story, guys. Just don't. Just go, ah, uh huh. Anyway, mm -hmm. I want to manifest being seeing a black rose. What should I affirm? Guys, it's not, it's not a big deal to affirm seeing something. I see a black rose today. I love black roses. I'm going to see one today. Just say that. And then you'll see a picture of one or a key ring or something. But you don't have to sit there affirming all day for one thing. That's a fucking waste of your life. 
Okay, guys, I don't want anyone wasting their life on these tests. They're little tests just showing your power. You should be affirming for yourself, not for black roses or seeing a black car or some bullshit. That's a waste of your energy. Just affirm you're going to see it. Assume you're going to see it. Go about your day, darling. I manifest my ex without realizing it. I regret it so much. I saw that one. What if SP wants to meet up and talk about the breakup? Well, meet up with them, darling. Assume good meaning from that. Assume they want to get back together with you. Don't assume they're going to sit there and say bad shit. If you assume it's going to be bad, it will be bad. Assume only good things when they want to see you guys. Assume only good things when they call you. Assume only good things when they want to meet up. Okay? Live in the end of your mind that you're already together and then go meet him. And don't talk about the past. Just say, I don't want to talk about that. I want a fresh start. Or whatever. But in your mind, it's what you do in your mind, not what you say to him that matters. What you say doesn't matter. Even that, what I just said, doesn't matter what you're thinking while you're saying it okay i've got to go guys um it's not a self-concept that i have but an but it's an opposition of lies of others uh, sweet pea if other people are lying to you you think they're a liar go and watch my video i just posted the way people show up in your reality has got to do with you not them someone just asked oh my sp lies to me and hides himself from me it's got nothing to do with them it's what you're assuming about them so you're assuming there's opposition and that people are lying to you so that's how it will show up in your reality. Don't assume people are lying to you. It's not a self-concept that I have, but an opposition of lies. But I don't think you understand what self-concept is, guys. Self um, sweet piece, self-concept is what you think of you. What does it matter what other people think? You're in your reality there and there's... Go and watch my video about people lying because I don't think you're getting this, okay? Your self-concept can only be formed by what you think of you. It doesn't matter what other people in your reality are doing. It's what you think of you. I don't really understand the question. Um, okay, last question. I manifested my soulmate and we are together, but now we're not. What should I do? And we were together, but now we're not. Imagine you are still with them, darling. Forget about the breakup. Imagine you're still with them in your mind. You never broke up, okay? And forget the old story. Write down the old story, burn it, write the new story of your beautiful relationship and concentrate only on that and live in the end in your mind. All right, guys, I've got to go. I've got three client calls back to back to back. Oh, four client calls back to back to back. I need to go to the loo, <laughs> make myself another coffee, do the work I need to do before the call. Guys, if you want a one-to-one -one call, what I do is you send me the backstory of what you're trying to manifest and I spend a lot of time analysing it, figuring out all the issues. So when we're on the call, we don't spend time talking about it too much and we work on the solution. DM me at Manifest Live with Loz on my TikTok or in Messenger on the Facebook group. You can find me on the admin. Join the Facebook group, Manifest Live with Loz. Okay, you can watch all these lives back and I'll be live later today. Please follow me if you don't because you'll know when I go live because it's just random times at the moment, okay? I will see you later, guys.